Hey everyone, Jenna from Genesu Design here, and today I'm back with Wayfair to share eight of my favorite budget-friendly bare wall solutions. No matter your skill level or your living situation, you don't have to live with empty walls. Here are some methods I've used to add interest and take your room to the next level. The first and perhaps simplest way is to create a gallery wall. This is where you can get creative and infuse your own personality. Oversized symmetrical frames are my go-to for a clean and understated look. But framing can be expensive, so I'll buy more affordable ones with plexiglass and cut my own mats from poster board for a fraction of the cost. Using multiple pieces allows you to fill the wall using the right proportions, like drawing your eye up on taller ceilings. The gallery wall is a great start for beginners and can be switched up as often as needed. Next on the list is wallpaper. Now, I'm not talking about your grandma's wallpaper here. Styles have really evolved in the past few decades and it's finally making a comeback, for good reason. For starters, it's an affordable option that you can install yourself, there's a wide selection of availability, and there's even removable types which are great for renters or people who change their minds a lot. You can turn it into a focal point as a wall mural or go subtle with just background texture. From simple patterns and textures to intricate drawings and designs, there's a wallpaper for every purpose and style. If you aren't yet sold on wallpaper, there's an easier way to get the look. Stenciling. Wall stencils have also become more popular in recent years. They're an affordable and non-permanent way to add detail and pattern to any flat surface, and they can have a huge impact on walls. This look is well suited for any room, and it's also a great beginner project. Templates make it easy to line up your design, and if you make a mistake, simply paint over and try it again. This is one of my favorite methods, and I plan to use it often in the future. If you're ready to take your DIY skills to the next level, adding architectural details to your home is a perfect place to start. Wainscoting is a great project for beginners, and it's one of the best bangs for your buck. There's several ways to do it, depending on the look you're going for. You can start by adding simple chair rail horizontally along the wall and painting the lower half. I like to take it a step further by adding evenly spaced vertical pieces known as board and batten. For my first time in my dining room, I used thin strips of wood for a more subtle look. The second time around in my foyer, I replaced the baseboards and used thicker wood for a more substantial feeling. For an alternate look, or if you just want to cover your walls, you can use beadboard or paneling instead. This style of molding doesn't take a lot of extra time, but it's unexpected and quite impressive looking. I tried it out on a wall in my bedroom and used 3 quarter inch MDF cut into strips. MDF sheets can be purchased and cut at your local hardware store, and they're often preferred for their super smooth and easily paintable surface. If your walls have any texture, you'll also want to cover them with thin sheets of hardboard. It's a bit of a puzzle that you'll need to carefully measure and plan out ahead of time, but once you get started, it's smooth sailing. The finished result is a showstopper and definitely worth the effort. All of these wood treatments do wonders to transform your space and add value to your home. But there's another one that's sweeping the nation. Shiplap has recently taken the spotlight, but this wall feature has been around for ages. Fortunately, you can recreate it in your own home with a little time and patience by using boards that can be purchased locally or online. In my home, I use tongue and groove pine for less than a couple dollars a square foot. This look works great in any room and you can cover any surface. All you need is a nail gun to secure it into the studs. The boards lock together and leave a defined joint for that authentic shiplap style. Before painting, you'll want to layer on the primer so the tannins in the wood don't bleed through. This option isn't quite as quick and easy as the others, but it's worth putting in the effort if you want a timeless look that's built to last. For those of you who aren't quite up to taking on that challenge, you're in luck. I found another way to get a similar look that's quicker, more affordable, and you can do it by yourself. Quarter inch plywood sheets are also available at any hardware store, and they'll even cut them into any size strips you'd like. All you need is a level and a nail gun to attach them to the wall and they go up fast. You'll also need a saw to cut the boards to the proper length, and a jigsaw or handsaw to cut around obstacles like outlets. Just use a nickel or tile spacer and work your way up. Then finish off with trim, caulking, and paint. Now you have a completely different room and no one will ever know it's plywood. The last technique I love to use for the biggest impact is tile and stone. Of course this comes at a cost and it's not always something you can install on your own. But it can be a major improvement to the home itself and it'll take it to a new level. Most people use it just as a backsplash in kitchens and bathrooms, but it can be used in any room in the house. Tiling up to the ceiling in a bathroom or kitchen will have a dramatic effect and covering a bedroom or living room wall with tile or stone will completely transform it. There's so many different types of tile and stone, and you can completely change the entire home depending on what you use. 
If you want to add serious value and character, consider this option as an investment that can potentially last in your home forever. These are just a handful of ideas that can help you tackle those empty walls. For those of you with bare wall syndrome, hopefully you now have some inspiration and motivation to make it awesome. If you have any questions about these projects or need help getting started, leave a comment below for me. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Wafer's channel below and I'll be back soon with another one. See you next time!